Hello. <clears throat> well, uh, some time ago I talked about the Godfather trilogy a little bit. Um, what I have here. It's a bit different from the one I got because well, I got a new uh, uh, a new Blu-ray set. Um, it was actually fairly affordable and um, that's why I got it. Um, give the, uh, my original trilogy to my <laughs> um, family members who didn't have it on Blu-ray and wanted it. So there you go. Um, and um, yeah, uh, it's been a while since I talked about this and um, rewatching this trilogy. Uh, you know, I just I just keep loving it. Um, I hope to one day talk about them individually. Um, this year is the 45th anniversary of The Godfather 2. It will be playing in certain theaters in America, uh, particularly Cinemark. Um, and a couple of years ago, I was going to see The Godfather you know, 1 for its 45th anniversary. I didn't get to do that because, well, Putting new chairs and stuff like sort of help and remodel and make the theaters look better. And unfortunately, um, doing so, I guess certain movies could not be played. Though, when I initially went to go and see it, uh, before what would happen is. Sometimes movie times just wouldn't yet have their the name up there, or different times would be showing. I don't know, there's something at a time with Cinemark I remember that some of the times weren't correct, or it would be when you got to the theater, you would be able to actually see what times the movie is showing. Sometimes this would be fairly new movies or movies that have been in theaters for a while. Um, so I didn't think anything of it. But, and of course, you know, you got to go to a theater from another town, which is like, you know, it would be like an hour. <laughs> Maybe. You have a drive. Uh, depending on traffic, uh, I should say. You know, it's quite a bit of a drive, and it's like, it's not worth it just to go to a movie theater just to watch this movie. And then come back home. It was one of those things. It's just not worth it. So, fortunately, I wasn't able to see The Godfather on the big screen. Um, <clears throat> perhaps for its 50th anniversary, they'll re release it. I hope they would, because if they're not, well, I don't know why. For like the 40th and then the 45th. They released it. Missed it for the 45th. Had no clue about it for the 40th because, from what I could tell, for the Cinemark, um, you know, they, they like to re release films, old films, onto the big screen. And it was around 2012 13, I recall them playing theater films on the big screen that are. Pretty old. Saw so Lawrence of Arabia this year. That was really good. Um, other films I've seen before: was Doctor Strangelove and Scarface. Good Will Hunting and so many more. But you know, I don't know. I just wanted to bring up old films on the big screen. You know, it just I don't know. This just kind of. Remind me just uh, getting this not too long ago, watching this, because it's all the same stuff, you know, but just more in a book form. And, um, it's stuff inside, though. I don't want to feel like a, it's not like an unboxing video or anything, but you know, 
and then this, which wasn't like uh, had one of those little sticky things or something. I don't believe they did, because I remember it just came off. Uh, plus, I'm just forgetting that I did take something off of it, but uh, I've been too busy. Like Regarding this set, I was too busy just watching the movies and special features and looking at the stuff that came with it. But have you seen any films on the big screen? Um... Are there any films you would love to see on the big screen? Oh, Jaws. I remember seeing Jaws for its 40th anniversary. That was really cool. Uh, I've seen The Silence of the Lambs on the big screen a couple times. Saw Jaws a couple times, actually. Um, I've, um, yeah, I want to see The Godfather. I'll see Godfather 2 uh, this month. Um, <clears throat> but it's fun to see old films on the big screen. Um, you know, Mr. Smith Goes to Washington, I saw that. Um, <clears throat> it, it's, it's always fun to watch movies on the big screen. Uh, old movies, new movies. Um, it's just, it, it's just cool, you know. Like, if you weren't around... When these movies came out, you have a chance now to do so because you know chains like Cinemark and I'm sure other uh, theater chains do something similar, where they uh, <clears throat> they re-release films uh, for you know for, for the fun of it, you know, just be like you know there it's. Fun people who are fans of these films can go and watch these movies. There used to be a lot more movies that came out. I remember, but like, when a certain run, it could be like for summer or whatever, it could be like six, eight weeks. Uh, it was like four, like a month, and then an hour. It's like we got it all laid out. We have it for with t Turner Classic Movies, and there's other films like, it's like Fathom Events. And through Fathom Events, uh, there's like, you know, Turner Classic Movie, like the post of TCM, quite a bit from many of the movies you see before and then after the movie. He comes and presents, talks about it a bit from in the beginning, and after you've seen the movie, he gives out some more information, usually like some bits of trivia. It's always kind of cool to watch. Um, I remember Lawrence of Arabia was like four hours long, and I can only remember, I can only imagine what Godfather 2 will be like, you know, it's like, it's over a three hour film, <clears throat> and then getting there, sitting down, watching the movie, and then you're just sucked into this world <clears throat> of the Godfather. Um, but I hope they do play Godfather 1 again. To me, that's the best film of the whole trilogy. I know that's not The most popular answer, obviously the popular answer is Godfather 2. Godfather 2 is the best. Um, and Godfather 2 is incredible. It, it really is, but for me, it's, it's Godfather 1 is the best. I believe I said this before in my previous video about the Godfather trilogy, but I just love the dynamic between <coughs> Pacino and Brando. Vito's and Michael's father-son relationship, and now it's essentially a passing of the torch uh, regarding the family. I just like that. There's other aspects, obviously, I like that, but if there's just like one, I think would be <clears throat> a good reason to just say why I think it's better than two. It's that, and I think two is missing that, um, but two is incredible nonetheless. I enjoy 2. I love 2. I enjoy 3 also. Um, but 3 doesn't get much love. Um, you know, I don't think Sofia Coppola is actually as horrible 
I remember when watching it, I was like 13 for the first time, all these movies. And I was like, this is, I, I've heard of the reputation of three not being good. And, and then seeing it, I'm like, this, this isn't that bad. I mean, it's not better than the first two, but it's not horrible. Um, I'm sure when I do each of those films individually talking about them, I could go a bit more in depth in that regard. Um, but yeah, I mean, <clears throat> I just love to see The Godfather on the big screen. Hope to see two. Believe I'll be able to see two. On a Sunday, when it's out, and I just, I just want to see it. I want to see it on the big screen. Um, so, yeah, those are some of my movie experiences on the big screen. Um, Scarface, that was incredible. Another Pacino film. Uh, but I've seen a bunch. You know, Goodwill Hunting. Um, it's just, it's just this getting this recently. It or watching them not too long ago in the knowledge Godfather 2 will come out later this month just reminded me about my big screen experiences that I've had <clears throat> you know uh, Lawrence of Arabia one of the best films of all time in my opinion uh, it's incredible um, Mr. Smith Goes to Washington was cool to watch on the big screen. Um, Doctor Strangelove, I mentioned earlier. Um, that was just funny. Uh, Good Will Hunting was done because it was not long after Robert Williams passed away. I would have loved to have seen one for the Cuckoo's Nest because I remember that came out, but I was busy those, uh, when it was out. Out for two days at certain times, and I was just busy. Wanted to see Taxi Driver also, but again, it was busy. Some of these movies, it's like you, you want to see it, but then you realize you're gonna get busy for whatever be it like working or going to school or both, or just life itself, even if. Those two things are completely out of the question. No problem whatsoever. You know, be able to see a, one of the showings of the movie. Life can just be unpredictable, and then something happens, and you gotta do something else. Yeah, part of you will be a bit bummed out you couldn't get to see said movie, but then others, it's like, well, it's like, well, you know, well, part of you has to say like, you know. You had to do something else. You got to. You had to do something. And I think Taxi Driver will probably be like The Godfather. It'll probably be shown again at some point. I mean, both are very beloved films. Both are influential films. You know, made by filmmakers who have a big fan base. So I can't think that after the 45th anniversary of The Godfather, they would never again show it in any capacity on the big screen. Same with Taxi Driver. Um, and there were films I've listed, like Jaws, I would love to see again on the big screen. I would love to see Jaws for a third time. I'd love to see The Sons of the Lambs for a third time. I've seen the Sh I saw The Shawshank Redemption not too long ago, too. Saw that before. I saw this. Guess why? I like to see that a third time. Um, no, it's like here. Uh, uh, it's 25th anniversary. I'm 25 too. So uh, 25th anniversary of this movie. It's it, it's it's a fantastic movie. As is the Green Mile, um, made by the same guy who made the Shawshank Redemption, um, Frank Darabont, got nominated for Oscars for both of these films. This first adapted screenplay, this for screenplay and best picture. Not direct for either of these, which is odd, I find. 
listed as one of the best films of their respective years, and director gets to get nominated for well, best director. Godfather won Academy Awards, which it deserved. Um, yeah, it's 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 always fun to watch films on the big screen at events and all. Um, have you ever seen a movie again on the big screen? I guess I asked that before, but I'm gonna end the video here. But have you? Have you ever? watched a film on the big screen um, if so what did you see have you seen many you could list some of them as I have here and granted this was sort of an impromptu video so apologies for the lack of complete co cohesiveness of it um, of this video but I don't know, I just re watching this and then the knowledge of Godfather 2 this month on the big screen just really just reminded me of the various films I have been able to see on the big screen and some of the films I would have wished I could have seen but was busy with whatever, like life. Life got in the way, but that happens. Um, Oh, the, some of those films, I'm, like, I'm sure they will uh, come back on the big screen again. Um, I, could, I can't, could not imagine them never returning to the big screen, like Godfather. How couldn't the Godfather be re-released again for like its 50th anniversary? Or the 45th anniversary of Tax Driver, how couldn't that get a re-release? Uh, or even for its 50th, if it doesn't for its 45th. Fifth, I mean fiftieth. I mean, you know, the seventies itself is just seen as a fantastic decade, one of the best decades in the entire film uh, industry you know, by Hollywood and indie filmmakers. It's just a huge boom. You know, you got The Godfather, you got Jaws, Star Wars, Taxi Driver, Rocky. One for the cuckoo's nest, Godfather Two, um, Serpico, those were on the roof, Patton, uh, Apocalypse Now, The Deer Hunter. I'm just naming a bunch of films. I mean, there's that decade; it was incredible. And I can't believe some of those films will just be re released like. Once or twice, and that's it. Like those, some of those films are so huge. You couldn't. I'd be surprised if they never released them again. Um, and there are some films I would love to see on the big screen too. Not just that you hope would be re-released again, but just have never got the chance. Like the original Star Wars trilogy for me. I would love to watch 4, 5, and 6 on the big screen. Never had the opportunity. Seen 1, 2, and 3 on the big screen you know, growing up. Watched those on the big screen. Seen the new films on the big screen. Um, but never the originals. Never around during their release. 97, they had the special edition re-release. But I don't know if that was in select theaters. And you know, been a Two or three, not yet turned three, I believe. Um, and if I did see those on the big screen, I'm pretty sure I would have probably remembered. Like that would be a memory I would have, I'd never be able to forget. But I was too young to probably have gone and watched them. Uh, I would say around three years old, I probably was taken to the theater before. Like the movie theater, uh, I would say. Um, but I don't know for 100% sure. Um, but I would have loved to have seen the original trilogy on the big screen. Some theaters, because of like Force Awakens, 
got to see one, two, three, four, five, six, before seven. Obviously, where I live, that could never happen. Because uh, I live in Iowa, and uh, uh, people out in Hollywood, like, eh, who cares about Iowa? <laughs> like, like certain states, who cares about that state or that city? I live in one of those places that's never lucky to see anything like that. To have a big marathon of like all the Star Wars movies before the new one. Um, you know, I'm just not that lucky. Um, uh, but yeah, I, I enjoy watching films on the big screen, new and old. Um, I think I actually enjoy seeing some of older films on the big screen than some of the newer films. Obviously, I see new movies on the big screen, but sometimes it gets to the point where it's like, there's not many movies that are incredible that come out on the big screen. But if I want to go to the movie theater, and there's an older film playing, and then I look at some of the newer movies, if they're not impressive, I'll just go to see an older movie. Even if I have it on DVD or Blu-ray, I want to see it on the big screen. It'd be cool. Um, so yeah, there's that. Um, uh, again, any films you have seen on the big screen that were old, like older films, not a brand new release when you saw them, but <clears throat> uh, five, ten years old or so, or older, um, or have you always wanted to see them, but just never got to because life happened. And whatever happened in your life to prevent that such a... That was to happen, you hope said film will uh, come back on the big screen. Um, there's a bunch of movies I never even, you know, mentioned. But uh, I don't want to take up too much of your time already. This is already over 20 minutes. But, uh, yeah. What uh, what do you guys think? Have you done that before? You want to do that? Or do you think that's kind of a dopey thing? Like if you own the movie on DVD or Blu-ray or if it's on Amazon Prime or Netflix or Hulu, why bother going to the theater to pay money? To see something that you can just watch at home. If you want, you can leave your thoughts and comments. Or you don't have to. It's your choice, your life. I can't tell you what to do, obviously. Um, and yeah, uh, that's really all I got for now. So until next time, I hope you all have a great day, have a great weekend, and a great week. And I'll see you next time.